The River is the title poem of the collection and it's the last poem in my first collection. And it, the river is actually the River Suck, which winds its way through my collection and it winds its way along the border of the farm uh, where I grew up. And when I started writing about 11 years ago, I didn't know that the farm would be such a huge uh, metaphor in my writing and such a huge influence uh, in my, I suppose, my aesthetic. Um, but there it is and there it was and the river had, you know, form was very influential in giving me ways of talking about, uh, reflecting on things I needed to write about. And in this poem, this poem really is a meditation about the nature of grieving. Um, and, uh, you know, people often ask me, how long does it take to write a poem? And this one actually, it, it took seven years to complete this poem. It was seven years before I knew it was right. And, uh, you know, I knew there was something very powerful in it. I wrote it the first year when I started writing poetry and I knew there was something powerful in it, but I just had to keep going back to it. You know, maybe, you know, I could leave it for six months, maybe two years. And then finally I was able to just get it the way I wanted it to be. And it probably is the most important poem to me that I've written to date. Even though in some ways the most recent poem is always your most important. But I think taking an overview, this would be the most important to me. The River. What surprises me now is not that you've gone but how I go on without you. As if I had lost no more than a finger, my hand still strong, perhaps stronger, can do what it must, like carving your name on a branch from the beach by the suck, letting the river take you so I can call myself free. Only sometimes, like yesterday, or the day before, last night, or this morning, the river flows backward, uphill to my door.